Hey, welcome back. This is another episode of Simplify. This is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And today we're gonna talk about winning your morning. So I wanna talk about winning your morning. So last week I was in Iowa for my sister's wedding. So for a week I was completely out of my routine. I was in Illinois for about three days and then I was in Iowa for about four days. So my ability to wake up and do the same things um, was tough. And so I have a morning routine that puts me in a really good mindset. And so when I got out of that routine, coming back to Michigan kind of got me out of whack. So for the past two weeks, I haven't exactly been as productive or as efficient as I want to be. So that's why today I want to talk about winning our mornings because I'm going to do what's called a 6 a.m. week. Basically what a 6 a.m. week is, is I wake up at 6 a.m. every morning no matter what I have planned for the day. And so what this does is it creates a habit in me of getting up and starting at 6 a.m. allows me to get things done that I wouldn't have been able to get done, let's say if I wake up at eight o'clock. I mean, I can get a lot accomplished in two hours, especially a lot of reading and a lot of writing, which is important for me. But the two biggest things that I have to do every morning, regardless of if it's a 6 a.m. week or regular week, is I have to make sure I wake up and I get food and I get exercise. So one of the ways that I get exercise is I started going to this place called Functional 45, F45. It's over on 28th Street and it's awesome because it is a high intensity interval training. 45 minutes, um, multiple stations. It gives you how much time you need to work and how much time you need to rest. And it is a workout that I've never gotten before because um, I like to think I can push myself, but when I'm in a group setting, um, I can definitely push myself a lot more. And the cool thing about F45 is you can go two weeks free. So all you have to do is sign up. You can go to as many classes as you want in those first two weeks. Let me tell you, it is the greatest workout that I have found. So the reason that getting food and getting exercise is so important to me is because it puts me into my optimum state, all right? It simplifies my head, it clears out all the junk, um, I'm a person that when I wake up in the morning, I am very negative thought focused and I have, you know, I'm very pessimistic and I'm usually kind of grumpy. And so for me to get out of that state, I have to get food in myself and then I've got to go out and sweat and release those chemicals that put me in a much better, much more optimistic state. Um, one thing that I've been notorious for doing is I'll wake up and I'll immediately check my phone and I'll do that for like 15 minutes and then like I'll lay around for another 10 minutes and then the next thing you know, I've had 25 to 30 minutes completely gone where I haven't achieved anything, I haven't gotten myself in a better mood because let's be honest, sitting on your phone does not make you happier and so for me, I need to wake up get myself going and get myself out of that mindset as soon as possible because if I don't nip it in the butt in the morning, if I don't get those negative thoughts out of the way, then it's just gonna continue throughout the day. So the sooner that I can wake up and the sooner that I can get my mind right, the better and the more productive I will be for that day. So another thing about me and another reason why I'm pushing win your morning is because I'm a type of person that is all over the board. I have so many ideas and like if you were to see me at my house, I'm doing a million things at one time. So for me to really focus in and get things done and, and you know talk about being productive over being busy. And I have a tendency to try to just be busy and I realize I'm not as productive. And so one thing that I found is to create to-do lists, but not the typical to-do lists. Um, because I need to focus on certain things for that day. And so I read a book called Organize Tomorrow Today. And what they do is they have you write down three things that you must get done for that day. And then you need to circle one that's a must. So you absolutely have to get at least that one thing done, but you gotta try to get those three. And they have you do this the night before. So that way when you wake up, your brain's already been trying to figure out how to fix and solve those problems. And so when you wake up in the morning, you already have your to-do list. You already know exactly what you need to get done. And what's cool about this is if you're able to check one of those off, it creates a good feeling. It releases dopamine, like I talked about earlier with working out. It releases chemicals in your brain 
so that you are going to be more likely to achieve and to get more things done on your list. Um, some of you may have seen a YouTube video by Admiral McRaven. He talks about making your bed every morning. It's along the same premise. If you wake up and make your bed right away, what you're doing is you're starting your day already achieving, already checking off a task on your list. Even the great Warren Buffett talks about making a similar style list. And what he has you do is write down your top 25 um, important career goals or personal goals. And what he has you do from there is circle the five most important. After you do that, you wanna make two columns. You wanna make column A for those five objects and column B for those other 20. And what he's gonna tell you is, you do everything in your power to get these five done before you think about doing any of these 20. Because what you're doing now is you're simplifying your life you're taking out these distractions, which you can come back to later, but these you've identified as your most important. And so you need to put all your effort into these five. Because if we try to spread ourselves thin, if we try to do all 25 at one time, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting our energy into 25 different areas, which we'll never do any of them to, do, to the ability or the level that we'd want them to. Or you can focus on these five in which you're going to be able to put a lot more focus and you're going to be a lot happier with how much energy you're able to put into them and the results of them. So right now what I want to do is I want to reveal the winner of this week's challenge, the subscribe challenge. So if you were a new subscriber or an old subscriber, you were put into a raffle and I pulled the winner. And this week's winner is Tyler Van Hooklem. He is the assistant volleyball coach at Aquinas College and a close personal friend of mine. So he will be getting the traveler's gift. So congrats to him. And this week's challenge, um, this week's raffle is going to be a Snapchat challenge. And what I want you to do is I want you to Snapchat me the time that you wake up in the morning and what you plan on doing to win your morning. So like I told you guys earlier, I'm going to be doing a 6 a.m. week, which means I'm going to be up at 6 a.m. and I'm going to be immediately getting food to myself and reading and exercising. I just added reading, but that's really important for me in the mornings as well. Um, so Snapchat me in the morning, flip over to that time, send me what you're going to do to win your morning and you will be entered to win Organize Tomorrow Today. It's a way for people to retrain your mind how to be, how to optimize your performance at work, in school, in life. It is a great book and it is where I got that three things um, list. So go follow me on Snapchat so you can enter to be in this raffle. All right, so thank you guys for watching another episode of Simplify. I'm gonna be adding um, the Admiral McRaven link um, down below. I'm also gonna be putting in my Snapchat and my Instagram, so make sure you go follow those accounts. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and like always, please like and share. Um, have an awesome Sunday, everyone.